Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a box to safely switch on and off your servo drives. It contains a few switches. This is rated for 10 amps. At the 20 amp uh, line filter, this line filter prevents EMI from coming from your servo drives back to the mains line. Here you can see the parts I used. The enclosure comes with a dinner rail that's used to mount the fuse switch, but I'm gonna make a little mount so you can use it uh, with a line filter as well. This is designed to fit to the line filter uh, mounting points and also have a little clip to clip on the rail. To get the power in and out, I'm going to use a little extension cord, which I'm going to cut. So I'm going to use uh, each part for input and output for the power we need. So I'm going to be stripping the edges and uh, attaching little uh, fork spades on them, so I can uh, attach them on the line filter. But of course I'm not gonna crimp them, I'm gonna put some solder so there's not a chance to, for them to come loose. You're gonna have to apply lots of solder to make sure it fills up completely. So this is where we put the other half of the cable and use the little pieces we cut as a bridge between the switch and the line filter. Make sure to apply some tin on the edges when you strip the wires so they have better contact when you tighten them. Then you can insert the wires in the terminal of the switch. Also don't forget to thin the stripped edges of the wires we cut that we're gonna use between the switch and the line filter. The other side of these wires we're gonna have uh, the spades. Then you just put them in the terminal on one side. 
on the switch. The ground wires from both cables will be mounted on that spot using spades. Here you can see all the wiring of the box and how it goes from the one side to the other side having common ground. After you check all the wiring you can put the line filter in place and clip it on the rail. Make sure the cables are mounted uh, tight on the bottom so they don't come loose, you can pull them. Then you should probably use some foam to mount it uh, more stable against the walls at the, between the switches. After making sure everything is tight in place, you can close it and uh, get it ready to use it. Thanks for watching.